Hello everyone and welcome back to our Legend of Mer FPS RPG series. Uh, in the first part we looked at the very beginnings of a project. Where do we begin? What do we start work on? And in this episode we're going to continue working on our character's movement and improving a bit of the feedback that we get from the player's actions such as their walking and moving around. So we're going to add a little head bob to their walk. So let's go ahead and jump into that right now. So last time we got a uh, basic movement for our crouch working, jumping and sprinting. And one thing we're going to do now is we're going to improve the design of our character's walk. That's less slidey, more steppy. So let's take a look at how we can achieve that effect using a camera shake modifier. So we're going to our content drawer and we're going to create a folder in our game folder called effects. And inside of here, we're going to create another folder called camera effects. And go once again inside that. And you're going to go into blueprint class and search for all classes here for camera shake. And you'll see in here, you've got an option for camera shake base. Now you'll see a couple of other options here. We've got camera shake base and then you've got, that's got two children, default camera shake base and legacy camera shake. And then you also got camera modifier, camera modifier, camera shake. Now the camera shake, uh can modify camera shake sorry is already applied to your player controller and their player manager sorry camera manager uh so, and what that does it uses the camera shake base type of class to determine what it's shaking like so we're just going to get camera shake base and set that and we'll call this one camera shake step and we're going to open this up now over here is where you define the pattern of your shake and we, because we're stepping, we want it to be quite rhythmic, uh, not so random. So we're going to change it from none to wave oscillator camera shake pattern. So we click on this and we only want to affect the rotation of it. So we're going to rotation and we're going to go into the pitch of it. Let's actually open them all up because we want to affect them all. But in the rotation amplitude, we're going to change that to 0 0.5 because we don't want it to move too much. We want it quite simple. And the rotation frequency is how common is it going to be happening. So how... Uh, how frequent are the steps going to be and uh through testing i found 2.2 is quite a nice figure for this but by all means play about with that number see what like uh, what you like for your game and then i'm going to pitch here and leave amplitude at one i think we'll see at one but initial offset type i'm going to change that to zero and that's because basically start from the zero point add this rotation to it your change the amplitude to zero frequency to zero and roll zero and zero again. We only want to affect the pitch, which is the looking up and down sort of behavior. So, yeah, we want that done, and that should do it. Hit compile and save that, and then close. We're then going to go back to our player character. And on our player character to begin play, we are going to create a camera shake class. So, you get, um, first of all, right click and get the player camera manager and then from there we're going to do camera shake and in here you'll see start camera shake plug that into the begin plate and start camera shake here you could choose what class we're going to use from that drop down we're going to choose our step one we just made and we'll leave everything is as as it is but the return value here we want to store and keep track of because we're going to be changing the scale of it dynamically as we're moving so when we're standing still it doesn't shake and likewise if we're near it won't shake as well so we're going to promote to variable and we'll call this one camera shake step and leave it there and i'm going to set the scale here by default to zero one thing I forgot to do is we have to go back to our camera shake. And we want to go down to where it says timing. And you want to change duration here to zero. That means it's going to loop forever. Okay, one means what's one second. So zero means forever. Compile and save that. Okay, so next we need to change the scaling of our camera shake on the move input action. So I'm just going to go to triggered here. And at the end, we're going to drag out our camera shake step. Oops, sorry. And get. And we do set scale. And we set to one. Okay, and then I'm going to copy that. And put it down here. 
and we're going to open this up and put it into cancelled and completed and set the value to zero and uh apologies i just rem we have to check out and change the scale and begin play from zero to one uh if it starts at zero um the scale means it's not going to play at all it's just going to just delete itself and not be useful so setting it to one means it does exist um but we want to make sure it's set to scale zero straight off the bat so we'll take out from the camera shake step and set scale to zero okay so let's test this out so remember my character standing still no shake but if i start moving the camera is now going to bob up and down I stop it stops but one issue we have with this is that if i jump in midair a camera shake is still going when we're in midair so we need to make it so it only does it if we are on the ground so we're going to go back to our player character and we're going to go to our triggered for moving here and we only want to do this if we're on the floor okay if we're falling we don't want to do this so on shake scale we're going to drag out and do select float and we're going to drag out a capped movement component and do is falling I'm going to plug that in to pick A. And if falling is true, we're going to set A to 0. If it's B, we're going to set it to 1. So now, when I jump in midair, the shaking doesn't do anything. Okay. Perfect. So now we've got movement working pretty well in there. We can move around. We've got head bobbing there, good feedback to the player. Uh, what we're going to do in the next part is work on our sprint system. So we can sprint currently, but we haven't got any stamina bar or anything like that to manage those uh, those values. So what we're going to do in the next part is go through and showcase how to do something like that, how to make stamina regen, how to make the character exhausted, those sort of elements together there. So you can find the next part right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lady from just $1 a month. You get access to that video plus all the other videos before anyone else. Thank you so much to everyone who is supporting the channel over there and everyone on YouTube members. Thank you so, so much. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.